Hey all, it is Alex here from the Mac Cartographer, uh, and welcome to What a Mad Month slash week. Um, this is probably going to be the last update that I do this month, although there is going to be a video that's coming straight after this one. I'm releasing two at the same time, and you'll find out why later on. Um, so this is going to show you where we're up to with this month's September theme. Uh, some of you that are using the Foundry content, you will have seen that, ah, do you know what? There's actually quite a bit of Foundry content. If you are not a Foundry user and you are, for example, a Roll20 user, then the content has been a little bit thinner. There's been lots of assets, but not many actual maps. And that has literally been down to me. Um, I have not had the time to convert some of the buildings and stuff that we've had that we're making for this theme into actual usable tiles or maps for you guys. Um, so I'm kind of showing you where we're at with them at the moment. Uh, I'm going to be kind of pushing them out over the next few days. However, I'm letting you know now, if you are a supporter this month and for whatever reason you have ended your pledge uh, and you won't be a patron next month, at the end of this month I'm going to be sending out everybody a link to the Towns and Cities folder on my Airbridge and there will be a private link that will expire at the end of next month. So you'll still be able to access this month's maps next month. If you are a patron this month, you will get access to them um, because you've paid You've paid for them. You know, you've paid for the month and you deserve a month's worth of content. Uh, me not finding the time to get them out because of things that I will explain in a moment, um, that's not fair on you guys. So we wanna make sure that you are getting them. For those of you that are Foundry users, you already have the JSON, and so when this kind of content is updated, you will be getting it anyway. So you don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, as ever, at the end of the month, we will be sending out the Foundry JSON link to everybody who is in All The Things tier supporter. So we're gonna make sure that you guys do get the content, that you do get the maps, and honestly, just apologies from uh, predominantly me, not even Stefan. Stefan has been knocking out the park uh, this month. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff that's fallen on my shoulders, both uh, with my real life, <laughs> with my real life, uh, away from this whole map making thing, uh, stuff has come up and then there is a new project that I've started um, that has dominated more time than I thought it would uh, and so that's what I'm going to explain uh, in a minute. However, I want to show you where we're at with the content, what we have been making, what we will be releasing and what you will be getting access to hopefully over the next week. Um, so we are making uh, a bunch of these uh, these city tiles. So these are 19 by 19 city tiles, similar to the ones that we did with the urban exteriors. The only difference is, is that we're going to have some interior elements to them. Uh, so all these tiles that we are making, um, there is going to be a central building that you can see has green doors and that means that there is an interior version of it. Uh, and we'll be releasing the, the canopy rooftop uh, with all these elements. So even if you're a Roll20 user, you know, you can still have these canopy rooftops and still be using these tiles to build up a larger uh, city scene. Um, and we've got a few of them. We've got a few of them that are already knocking out. And, you know, there's going to be a bunch of different rooftop assets that you will get access to if you are an All The Things patron. We've got a bunch of them. We've got uh, a ton of these normal tiled ones. We've got a ton of snow ones as well um, for you to kind of build up your own different city scenes. Um, and again, we've got the interiors and exteriors. For the foundry users, and I'm gonna demonstrate them again in a minute, um, we have these as pre-made placeable buildings. Um, so you'll be able to build up your interior buildings with a lot more detail. Um, but one of the big maps that we have got uh, is this city center, this kind of like main central plaza map that Stefan has made. Uh, and this is going to be released as a tile, as a full exterior, because it's a pretty cool map. You know, there's lots going on. You've got this, uh, this kind of back street area here where there's plenty that can be going on. Um, this uh, fountain in the middle is going to be a, a removable asset, so you can switch it up with some different options. There's going to be a fountain. Uh, I think there's going to be um, a rift, I think Stefan said he was making. 
and then also classic gallows there's going to be a gallows in the middle of this so where they are using it for some assassin's creed style plot line where you've got to save someone before they get hung um, or you're doing something for curse of strad and you're needing some sort of uh, valaki town square then you have an option with this one so we're going to be releasing this in three different versions of the tiles it's going to be a large tile like this i think and as you can see there's all these green doors everywhere because stefan did me no favors by making this as complicated as he did um, there are all blank interiors as well for you to uh, use our assets or other people's assets um, and uh, decorate whichever buildings you want and again we'll be releasing these as individual rooftop elements where possible uh, and not entirely sure how we're going to do this um, in foundry in particular uh, we're going to use the canop system primarily however there is the there are, there are multiple flaws on some of these uh, buildings as well and again Stefan just really likes making things really difficult for me and upsetting me so this one's going to this one's going to take a while to do and um, when you finish making it um this isn't something that's going to be made overnight this is going to take a while for me to actually get into foundry the tile itself is going to be simple enough getting it into foundry is going to be difficult because um we are if you haven't already seen we are using the levels uh, module so here we have uh, a church and you can go into the church um, I'm not sure where it's actually showing these I, I thought I'd reset the vision but that's okay um, so you would have the different areas that you can go into the different buildings uh, the different rooms you can move around the church and then when you hit these areas here in foundry it's going to take you up 10 feet to the next floor up and you can see these chandeliers appear um, when you move upstairs and you're now above it uh, if you have uh, another character on and we can drop them down here um, you can see that they go under the chandelier and we can kind of put them on here there you, go. you can see that they're partially covered um, and they can be uh, hidden out of sight um, by these guys when they go under the canopy uh, so this is a three tier building you can climb up the ladder and then you are in essentially the bell tower and you've also got the ability to go up another 10 feet and you are on top of the building so if you want some rooftop stuff then you have this um, so this is one of the new buildings we've got um, a small chapel which is a single tier we have a small mausoleum slash crypt we have a large warehouse and um, you can see here we've done something similar that we did with the bridge um, the covered bridge from dreaded domains the headless horseman's bridge where when you go up here and you go up 10 feet you're going underneath these uh, these beams up in the rooftops these rafters and kind of prompting the players that they could potentially climb on top of them and be moving around this warehouse getting into these rooms a little bit more stealthier um, whereas if they are back down on this level then they need to be going in and out uh, of these rooms and again as ever 30 feet and you're up on the rooftop uh, so we've got that we've taken uh, the herbalist uh, building from from Van Richten's uh, Van Richten's herbalist shop uh, which we did in dreaded domains one or two I can't remember um, but we've got this as its own placeable building and these are all placeable in foundry um, for anybody that's not seen it they are being made oh here you go so here's the the, the small chapel and the the mausoleum uh, building um, we have got some they're all placeable uh, at least they all will be when uh, when we finally manage to uh, update them uh, so we have where is uh, there you go so you got you know you can have the, the blacksmith shop and you can move them around and place them and you can rotate them you can build up uh, your own uh, little little, little uh, your own little town scenes however you want to do them and these combined with um, some rooftops when your players are, are walking around you know some little street elements as well you'll be able to make your own towns 
uh, in Foundry. And we've got every uh, building that we're making has uh, in Foundry, every placeable building has a snow variant and uh, a normal tile variant. And we've got the different backgrounds with snow and mud and cobbles and a variety of different ones that you can use. So this is, is a pretty extensive theme that we've done in one month. I think we've got, I, th I think it's 14 placeable buildings and that's not including the large city square that Stefan has done. Um, I think one of the other buildings we've got that I've not converted yet is a small warehouse. Um, and then I think through the other videos, I think I've shown all the other ones. So there's a lot of content here this month, just not managed to get it all out to your good selves. But believe us, um, you know, we are absolutely trying to get this out, out to you. <laughs> On top of that, Stefan is coming into the final stages of making the tile builder, where all these rooftop assets uh, for making your own buildings, you can um, use our editor. If you've seen the Wizards, as it, uh, the Wizards Tower editor, um, we're making our own version of that, but for making your own tile scenes or your own individual buildings where you can um, put, uh, you can make the the walls and you can place assets and furniture inside and you can then export the PNG of a building. So you can be making your own buildings or make full tile scenes. That's all going to be coming in the next few days. That's going to be something that is available uh, ongoing for people in the All The Things tier might not quite be available at the end of this month. Um, again, trying to make that, trying to make all these new assets, trying to make all this new Foundry content, trying to do stuff like this. <laughs> this uh, this is using the levels uh, um, module for Foundry has been an interesting experience um, and one that I've still not quite fully mastered yet, but uh, I'm working on it. So. That's everything that we've got uh, at the moment that we're working on getting out. I'm focusing on getting the tiles uh, available as soon as possible and then getting these additional, uh, getting the tiles and the pre-made buildings placed into Foundry for you folks. Um, but this is a theme that we'll come back to. We've not managed to do all the buildings that we wanted to do. Uh, we've not even got a tavern, which I'm quite disappointed that we, I, I didn't find the time to do a tavern. Um, but that just that just is the way it is. Um, we but we will come back to this theme again next month. However, we are going to be doing the Feywild um, uh, because of the release of <laughs> Wild Beyond the Witch Light. Um, we're going to be doing some cool, cool little maps and asset scenes for the Witchlight Carnival. Uh, we're going to be doing some additional Feywild content that will be. Uh, supplement stuff, uh, not just for the adventures that are in here, but for anybody that is having something of a, a Feywild encounter, but a uh, Feywild campaign. But the, the maps will always be usable uh, in other areas anyway, even if you're not going to be sending your players into the Feywild. I think you'll find a lot of use uh, for the maps that we've got planned. So they are going to be October's theme. Pretty excited about them. Um, but we've got some other exciting news uh, and it is the reason for why everything's been a little bit uh, a little bit more challenging to get out to you guys um, and gals this month and that is a project that I have started working on and um, basically uh, myself and uh, predominantly another person who is going to be a lead writer we are starting up a magazine uh, it is a digital and print magazine, and um, we are we started up at the end of August, the very end of August. So we've been doing it for just over a month, and we are preparing for the Kickstarter of it in November. Um, so there's a lot that's happening, and we're in the process of making new maps for that, um, as well as all the other stuff that's kind of falling on my shoulders at the moment to try and start up that as a new business and hiring on artists and stuff like that. So I'm gonna make another video right after this one uh, and explain a little bit more about our new magazine and how you can get involved. 
So thank you guys for watching this one. If you have any thoughts about this theme, any thoughts about the Feywell theme that we're going to be doing next month, any thoughts at all, then feel free to leave them in the comments below or head over to our Discord and uh, give us some feedback there. So thank you guys for watching. As ever, keep rolling those 20s, folks. And peace.